In today's video, I go fishing in sunny South Florida, deep sea fishing, my first trip in 2019. Make sure you stay tuned toward the end of the video because we're gonna have a beer together. I'm gonna show you how to play this mutton snapper and I'm gonna explain to you what that really weird thing is coming out of his mouth. Good morning guys, Dar Sizzle here of course and today is a beautiful day here in South Florida. Getting ready to start fishing. I'm fishing with Team Control Chaos today and I'm fishing with a bunch of fans from Louisiana down here visiting. Today our target species is sailfish. I forgot to mention we're also deep sea fishing today and I have not been offshore in quite a while. So it's nice to break it in for the new year and see what we can catch today. Just getting my goggle eye rigged up here and sent out. And we're gonna see what we can catch. We're gonna start bump trolling, get four lines out, two down on weights, two on the flats. And we're gonna see what happens. Hey, hey Darcy, I got a line around my leg. Did we get a diver? <laughs> medium. Yeah, that's a good little one. That's going for the dinner table. Perfect. Perfect. Ow! Oh, I bet that hurt. Tried some bump trolling. That didn't work. We've switched up techniques and we've now been drifting and we have a kite out on the other side of the boat that Captain James is working with three lines on the surface and I dropped the bottom rod on one side. The conditions have really got nasty out here. It's pretty bumpy, pretty windy. Sorry for the wind, guys. But I'm hooked up. Fish is pulling some drag. Yeah. Just gotta hold on and hope this fish stays glued. Comes to the boat, it's not over yet. And just so you guys know, I'm using my Ocean Max 08 conventional reel. I've had this reel for years. I love it, it's Maxell. And um, I use it for all my bottom fishing. Wherever I go, I take this rod with me. And it's paired with my Maxell Ocean Max Gold rod. And this is an awesome combo. All right, hold on. It's coming up now. We're getting close. Let's see what it is. Yeah, it's starting to float. All right. Hope it's good for a month. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, he's a beautiful. Yeah. Did it. That is a nice one. Check that out. Look, he's got a shrimp in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Damn, that just swiped it, Scotty. Look at that, guys. Beautiful fish. That is a solid mutton for this area. They get a lot bigger. But this guy, you're probably wondering, what the heck is that thing sticking out of his mouth? And because he was so deep in the water column, when they come up fast, their stomach basically expands and it comes out their mouth. So that's what you're looking at right there, what that weird thing is. A lot of people ask me and they don't know. house sorry for the abrupt uh, ending over there at the deep sea but it was getting very rough very windy and it just wasn't the ideal conditions for filming especially sound wise and everything so we're back home obviously I've got my 40 quart grizzly cooler with the porgy and the mutton snapper that I caught but it was a great day fishing with fans as always and we've got we're gonna go ahead and play up this button right now mutton snapper. I know you guys like to make fun of how I call them, but this is a nice size fish for our area, so I really can't complain. Plus, mutton are delicious, and I love to bite them. So today, in order to fillet this fish, I'm going to be using my Bubba Blade knives. I've been sponsored by them and using their products for years now. Great product. This is a seven inch flex fillet knife, and it has a really nice flex on it, which is what I like and prefer to use when I am filling in fish. I also got my 10 inch sharpening steel, already pre-sharpened it so you don't have to see that part. Uh, but check out their products in my Amazon store, link down below. And if you purchase anything, you support my channel for free. Um, and all my fishing products are there. So go ahead and check it out, including land shark lager stuff. Okay, so we've got the mutton in front of me here and we're gonna go ahead and just make a first initial cut right behind his gill plate here. Really nice and close so we can get as much meat as possible like that. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna have questions about this fish and the way he came up and um, when we were fishing and when I caught him because he had this big old thing sticking out of his mouth 
and it's actually somewhat still there. I don't know if you can see that sticking out of his mouth a little bit, but the fish kind of shook and he popped it with his teeth, so that's why it has shrunk back down into his mouth, but it's still right there. So I know a lot of you guys probably don't know what that is, and like I said offshore, and you can see I'm just cutting along the backbone, backbone here. But we can't, because I caught him so deep and I reeled him up really fast to the surface, he was not equalized properly. So when the fish reaches a certain depth or when he comes up in the, in the water column, their insides basically start to expand because um, he was brought up at such a high rate of speed. And so that's what happened to this guy. And his air bladder actually became very, I guess very bloated, I guess you could say, and came out of his mouth. So that was that big old thing that you saw sticking out of his mouth earlier. And the bigger the fish, the bigger that bladder becomes. So it's just something that happens due to the nature of where they live in such deep waters and versus catching like a sailfish or a dolphin on the surface, that's not going to happen to them. So now that we're gonna get this fillet off, a nice sharp knife really gets the job done easy. You can see I'm not missing any meat. I also like to keep the cavity intact. I don't want any of those fish organs and guts and stuff on my meat. There we go, there's one side of the filet right there. So let's just get this other side off here and then we're gonna check out his stomach. And if you guys watch my videos, you know that I love to check out their stomachs and see what they've been eating because it's kind of like a fish dissection a little bit. All right, we're almost done here. I'm gonna just lay out this other beautiful fillet and I do have the porgy in my cooler too that I caught but I'm not gonna fillet him at this time for you guys but if you want me to fillet a porgy in a future video please let me know all right here we go there's the other side so we got two mutton fillets and I will go ahead and skin the mutton in just a second but like I said I want to inspect the stomach and also along with the fish when he came up right on the corner of his lip was a mantis shrimp and mantis shrimp are really cool. They're actually not even a shrimp, um, but they are, they are anywhere between two and five inches long. Where's this guy's stomach? Looks like it's been empty. Huh, okay. Well, mantis shrimp are between two and five inches long and they pack a really powerful punch. They actually have like little clubs and they can strike those things at like 50 miles an hour at their, pri at their prey, which is a really high rate of speed than anything in the world. I think there are some other animals that strike faster than that, but it's pretty cool. And they're named after the praying mantis with the way that they have their clubs set up. Um, but there's like 400 species of mantis shrimp. So it's pretty cool to find that this guy had ate one of those guys down at the bottom right before he ate my bait. And I wanted to see if there was more mantis shrimp in here, but it just looks like his belly is totally empty. This was a really hungry fish. So unfortunately, there's nothing cool to see inside of this guy today. But that is how you fillet a mutton snapper. And I'm just gonna go ahead and skin one side real quick. Get that done with, with the same knife. And this is where my flex comes in. You just flex it at a 45 degree angle and slide it right down the fish. And I know you can eat these guys whole if you want to, but we prefer to fillet mutton snapper. And then this, all the carcass and the parts are going to be saved for a stone crab trap bait. I bet the stone ca crabs can't resist a yummy mutton. Let me get that little piece of pin bone out. And this is ready to eat. So we're gonna go ahead and take this inside and have a fresh mutton snapper dinner for us tonight. I'm super excited. Got my land shark lager, can't forget that. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a couple things. Make sure, remember, I have a bunch of how-to fillet videos on a variety of different species of fish. And that playlist is going to be listed down below. You can also just search it on my YouTube channel. But thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.